Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Right now, we're getting ready to dig into something that has become an issue for women across the country. Mm -hmm. Our sister Quad suffered from fibroids yes. and had an entire surgery. We're talking about fibroids today. That's right, and you may be surprised what these two doctors have concluded that could be the biggest culprit. Please welcome Dr. Amsu Anpul and Dr. Aman Neb. Yay! Hey, yes. Thanks, yes. Welcome to right. I get yeah, it right. You got, right. That, you got it right. <laughs> you got it right. <laughs> first, time, first, first time that's yeah. ever happened. Really? I'm really? telling you. All right, put that communication to be a good use. <laughs> <laughs> so b before we delve into uh, talking about fibroids, let's talk about your medical background and what, what made you guys delve into women's health. Okay, well, we're actually nutrient therapists. That's what we okay. call ourselves, so, mm -hmm. nutrient therapists. Um, we studied medicine in the UK, in, in London. London I studied endocrinology and metabolism. Mm -hmm. Dr. Amun studied um, physiology. physiology, anatomy, anatomy. and um, sports medicine. Even. As well, as well, so, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, m when I was young, a teenager, my mum had fibroids. I didn't know what she had. She had a hysterectomy. Mm -hmm. And it messed my whole summer up. I was, she had the bell. I had to go and fetch her <laughs> stuff while she was convalescing. <laughs> I was like, I don't want this to happen to anybody else. Mm, so yes. let me, let me, I, that's what got me into endocrinology. It's oh, like, yeah. why did that happen to my mother? Yeah. I did not have an idea that it happened so often with black women. I yeah, had right. no idea until, <coughs> you know, we started doing our, you know, own research, own research and that we found a lot of our clients and patients, female patients, had fibroids, like 95%. No. Now, what is the major cause of fibroids, and especially in black women? Why is it most prevalent in black women? Well, it's estrogen dominance. That is the root oh. cause, mm. you know? And this is the thing that, what Dr. Thompson was saying, what we was realizing, no matter what we were doing, like consultations, women were coming, being anemic, maybe having acne, um, suffering with obesity and that, but fibroids always kept coming up. So estrogen dominance is the root cause. Really? Wow. Let me ask you a question about that Go because we're, 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 this society is, is shifting into this whole vegan wave. And a lot of the foods, a lot of these processed vegan foods, they contain a lot of soy. Right. And, you know, and exactly. that boosts up you know, the estrogen. So going vegan, so how, what do we need to look out for? Well, check this out. With the estrogen. This, this, is a, this is a major point to make. Black people metabolize totally. food differently to everybody else. What? Right. So right. when we when we follow other races in how they eat, it could be detri detrimental to it us. Is. Not right. Be, so it is. so black oh. people we upregulate. It's what we call upregulation of estrogen. We boost it. We amplify the effects of estrogen. Now estrogen is a steroid. Let's get that straight. It's right. a steroid. Mm. Right? It's a catabolic steroid, meaning it breaks right. down cells. It gets into cells and attacks the energy of the cell. So cells lose their charge and then they become food or fodder for white blood cells and that's where inflammation starts. Yes. Right. So it's fibroids a... are inflammation tumors. So, oh, so, the, oh. so inflammation increases your risk of getting fibroids. Mm. Right, because right. yes. inflammation feeds off estrogen and it works hand in hand. Get and then that's that. what knocks off your cycle, you become more fatigued, heavy bleeding, yes. cramping. Ooh, golly jeepers. I mean, then infertility could kick in. Mm -hmm. You know, it just ruins your whole personal life. So what we decided when we was looking into this and doing more research is that we wanted to bring a natural alternative. Yes. Okay. And that's what we started doing. Researching, finding the root causes, estrogen dominance, and then finding some of the things that are estrogen inhibitors, which is all surrounding your lifestyle mm -hmm. to round it up. Well, we're, as women, we're told that birth control pills aren't a bad thing. Yeah. <laughs> Why are birth control pills women. a problem? I mean, they were well, pushed out by the medical industry. Hey, <laughs> this I brand mean, is amazing I for you and your cycle, blah, blah, blah. I mean, when you look at the birth control pill, and there's many different types of birth control. You know, you got the pill, the patch, um, IUDs, IUDs mm -hmm. the depot, the mm -hmm. injection. What does it do? It tricks the body into thinking that it's pregnant. It also prevents ovulation by injecting or you um, absorbing synthetic estrogen and progesterone. Oh. These hormones are synthetic. They're not real. They're not natural. And remember, we said they're steroids. Yes. So right. now you're dealing with synthetic steroids that are not produced naturally in the body, right? Yes. So and, and, and it's tricking the body. And, and and the trick in the body. The, wor remember the worst now. thing about it is that um, these contraception, birth control, is handed out like 
candy yes. Right. Yes. to right. children. From Remember, age yes. of 12, 12, 12 13, Absolutely. it's like, I got a bit of acne. Yeah. Here's, here's, a, wow. here's birth control. I got irregular bleeding. Here's birth yeah. control. You know, they got a cut on their elbow. Here's, here's, a, here's birth, birth control. control. Now, now <laughs> I have a saying. question. My sister was recently diagnosed with breast cancer, and um, she had the tumor removed. It was stage one. But they want to put her on a pill called tamoxifen. Um, and so it's supposed to lower your estrogen. Is right. this a good thing too then since it's a medication? Right, and, and no it's not. Because when you're looking at things like breast cancer, fibroids, like I just said earlier, you're looking at a dietary issue. Mm -hmm. You can't replace a dietary issue with medication. You're just mm. adding to the problem. So as a steroid, it will give a quick fix. You know, you will start feeling relief in the beginning stages, but over time, this is detrimental to your health. And what happens when they now try to come off that birth control? The side effect. The cascade is going to be totally. So what? So what broke. can we do now? Yeah, what's the alternative? What's right. The alternative? So there's a couple of um, solutions that we'll bring for just taking out some things from your diet. And don't shoot me down when I say these, but uh -oh. things like ice cream, no, that's dairy, easy. I don't eat that's that um, easy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all meat. Now we know that we've that's been tough. brought everyone. <laughs> I know as <laughs> black people, Everybody we love black people <laughs> chicken. Yeah, like but, him. you know, try to maybe find the best source of meat yes. if you're going to do it or cut it down. You know, yes. Just choose one meat and then try to, you know, and have it twice, three times a week and then cut it down as you progress because the ultimate goal is to become plant based. Right. Yes. But right. even with saying that, and you made a good point earlier on, is the soy, the tofu. Be careful soy the soy okay. intake, yes. Now don't we'll replace, be, don't replace toxins with plant-based toxins. Ooh. Exactly. Oh, thank you both so much for being Such so good informative. Information. Thank you wow. so much, Dr. Aman and Dr. Amsu. Thank you for stopping and spending time with us today and be sure to keep up with all of their research by checking out their website, thedetoxnow.com.